there's a good shot. <clears throat> okay, they made a lot of little mini home computers, mostly for children, but they really put a lot of thought into them and uh, I used to play a lot of these and you could do a lot of activities with this. This one says 52 TV and computer activities. And this is not the same as the Mega Joy that gives you 52 games that are identical. You know, these are 52 very different items from Leapfrog, Game Arcade, Data Bank, Mathematics, Word Processor, Homework, Trivia. Trivia especially is what they would do. So when you bought this stuff, you really got your money's worth. This is the game system that was the best deal in video game history. When they lowered their price to $79.99, you were getting the Sega Dreamcast, which was basically the same thing as a PlayStation 2. Not quite as technical, but almost. And let me tell you something. The PlayStation 2 was no good until three years after it was released. It was, as soon as the PlayStation 2 was released, nobody ever bought the Dreamcast again. But you were buying the PlayStation 2 for nothing because it wasn't a good system until years later. This system is really small. And it's heavy because it's so well built. One of the most underrated systems in history. They had a lot of good games for it too. Now, as for I believe this is a foreign game system. See it's got joy pads. Now this is not just a Pong system. You'll see you got Pong, Hockey, then you got Target, shooting games, other Pong type games. But then over here, you got the motocross and stunt cycle type games that were popular at that time, like 1977 I would say, a little later maybe. Really nice looking system, not so bulky. Now, this is unopened, I'm going to open it for the first time. This is the FC Twin. Okay. This basically played Super Nintendo and Nintendo games. I really didn't want to open this, but well, there it is. First time opened, the FC Twin. There it is. You can see that you played Nintendo 8-bit games or Nintendo 16-bit games. That's what was, that was the purpose of the FC Twin. Just a quick note on the roller controller from uh, ColecoVision. These, this comes with the unit. I mean, these, these are these wires are connected to the unit. Look at this. You got two joy pad units. You can see it. Plus a power pack. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty intensive item. Now here's the Video Sports by Venture Electronics. Now, I believe I've shown a couple of these. They're all a little bit different. This one, same exact name. The uh, paddle feels a little different. I think it's slightly bigger. It looks a little different than other systems. So, not much difference. And just for argument's sake,
this is how this looks next to the Sega Dreamcast. This is how the FC Twin looks next to the Sega Dreamcast. It's getting very bright. Sorry about that. Finally, we have the Radio Shack TRS-80. I believe this was very popular because there's a lot of them. This is in mint condition. I like it. But there's no floppy disk port. Here's, see this? That's the side of it. That's an expansion module. As for the roller controller, this is how the roller controller looks next to the Sega Dreamcast. Pretty big unit. And let me tell you something, it's well built. ColecoVision was really fabulous. Okay, sayonara.